G'day, my name's Scott. I'm the artistic director of Australian theatre company Earth, but I'm also the writer, director and original host of Dinosaur Zoo. What this little documentary is going to do is it's going to give you an insight into how we make some of our dinosaurs, which is something that we never do. The chance to actually do a live animal presentation where there is no live animals is kind of really cool. My name is Steve and I'm a uh, long-standing uh, company member. I um, actually started the company with Scotty you know, 25 years ago now and uh, we, um, uh, we have a great working relationship. He comes up with the ideas and it's my job to bring them into a physical reality. And so as the designer, uh, or as a head designer, I lead a team of, of really uh, qualified and talented people to yeah, take those things from you know, the chaos of uh, creativity that is his brain and put them on stage. Hey guys, how do you think the build's going so far? It's alright. It's alright. Triceratops, infant, mechanism for the inside, at neutral, eyes in a closed position because they're sleeping their babies. But I'll all have this very detailed textured finish because uh, they not only appear on stage for the show but they also do lots of meet and greet so people are right up and close to them so they can actually feel and see how much detail there is which is great. Here we are on the inside of the skeleton of the what's going to be the juvenile T-Rex and without its skin on you can see the tech so they can see where they're going. We've got um, a little flip down screen, very cool. And that's linked up to the camera that's actually in the nostril of the puppet. So they can see exactly where they're going, right in front of them. Here we go, here's the, um, the happy couple. Uh, this is uh, the mama, uh, and uh, this is going to be her, uh, her hubby. She's got all the bits and pieces that, uh, that work, the blinking eyes, the, um, the the opening jaw, the mobile tongue, uh, strikes quite a pose. He's going to be the same. Uh, all the you know, same mechanical elements as you can see here. But um, uh, we're giving him a, a purpley kind of hue. He'll still have this great sort of leathery face, but lots more uh, nodules and bumps and texture. So there's a huge amount of work that goes into the, um, the the design and construction of uh, not only one of these things but all of these things. I think we've got about um, you know, 20 or 30 individual items that we have to generate for this show. And they cross um, you know, puppetry and uh, costume and sets and um, prop and, and all different things that you associate with a production. Um, we do them all. We do them all here and we do them all to our design and I love that. audience's experience starts from the minute they make the decision to come to the show and we would like to make that experience last far longer than when the show finishes and the lights go down. <laughs> <laughs>